and MPs now plot to remove two-thirds gender rule. Uh, they want all elective bodies exempted uh, from the constitutional requirement. Uh, sorry, uh, the Daily Nation again, page five. That is a story by my friend Ibrahim Moruko. Honorable Attorney, I don't know if you have uh, had yeah, time I've to analyze this yes. and, and look at yeah, it. We are, we are these thinking, proposed amendments, yeah. yeah. These are some of the proposals that are, that are coming up. And uh, I think they make a lot of sense. Yeah, because uh, whereas I am one of the chief proponents for the two thirds gender law, mm -hmm. which uh, the law, as you're aware, was we did not uh, vote on it. it because it has many benefits. One, uh, we need to uh, really fight for gender parity. And it is something that uh, we are sincere about. But we know it's, it's difficult, you know, comparing even with other de established democracies, that it is not easy, it is not possible for us to attain uh, gender equality through the electoral uh, processes. So some people are thinking that maybe let us start with the executive and uh, ensure that all appointed positions, we, we ensure there's gender equality. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to disagree with this, this argument. I think in the end, we need, to, we need to have women in parliament, in both our parliaments, and the, the easiest way is to get women to be nominated. From there, then they will get there. By, uh, by, by parties or? Whatever, we'll, we'll agree on the process. But even by parties, the, the, the most important thing is that when we have women nominated, in the successive elections, they will go and fight for those seats. And I think that would be a very good entry point for women to, for us to realize gender equality in the end. Why do you think, uh, why do you think uh, Wednesday was a failure? Wednesday was a failure because uh, I think a lot of ma male members of parliament are not honest. Uh, it's still not honest. They were actually going to, even if we had numbers, they were actually going to vote against it. Mm. So Th what that is my think, observation. What makes you think any, any uh, I mean, what they said, they're not talking about February. Mm. What makes you think things will be different? I, th I think the political, parties, the, time. the political parties must rain on, on, on their members. That is very important. And I think ODM, I think we are very forthright. We, we, we want the build, the, this bill to go through. Let PNU also do, uh, Jubilee also do the same. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let Jubilee also do the same. I think we need more. Uh, we need more serious lobbying by political parties and the, and the party leaders the for this thing to go through. Mm. Well, for me, you know, one of the biggest challenge I think we face in this country is that it's as if issues of women are by the way, because you know we are talking of the constitution. We're saying eight years down the line, we had 47 bills. This is the only bill remaining. Mm. And because it's a by the way, nobody sees as if it's an issue. But then when I look at Parliament, I'm getting very worried because it's like we are retrogressing back. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at where the world is headed. And uh, the UN agreements, they are, uh, the, 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 the agreements we've agreed globally in terms of gender. I mean, when you look at gender and they talk about women, I'm wondering. And then when I look here at my Mwishimua mm. Sangok, I am wondering... You have affirmative action that we fought for, for you to ensure people with disability and are able and, yeah. to be in parliament, mm -hmm. are and able to even get their vehicles uh, uh, duty free, are mm -hmm. able to enjoy like any other citizen. Now you come in yourself, you are enjoying on the same position, and then you stand in front of the country and the world, and you tell the world that you know what? We need to remove, and I can see even now what they are proposing here. Mm. So you wonder, after you have benefited, is when you throw the, ba the, 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 the baby with everything. Because now you have benefited, you are moving on. And the worst is that why should we be talking about this bill to date? Even if they come in February, Hussein, trust me, <coughs> this bill is not going to pass. What we need is Maraga to show... Kenya, we are not talking about people alone. We are talking about respecting the constitution. And Maraga has to show us how to respect this constitution. I think that's the best. That's the day we wake up. You know, when we were given nullification of the presidency, people thought, is it real? But it became real. <laughs> but you, you don't think we'll get to a time where parliament can be dissolved because of this? Yes. It will be, uh, 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 you it see, parliamentarians say it is not possible. Yeah. But let us there get so it many, back to the, so to, the, to, to the other arm that protects every Kenyan who, when you've gone through other arms, they are not working. There's only one arm, and it's the judiciary.
that has to protect Hussein. the country. Hussein, Hussein. there are so many provisions in the constitution which, which have not been implemented. Mm. One of which is that every Kenya is entitled to uh, uh, good environment, mm. accommodation, housing, you know, those things. Well, when somebody should go to court so that you know those things can be implemented, so I don't think that. Well, I thank the uh, president. Well, He's about to implement it within by December. We are having that here. It is coming. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the parliament will be dissolved on this account. I think no, that, that is see. wrong. Look we, at the we, argument. We have. We have. Look at that no, no, no. That you know, is the, that is talking about two things. There's the political, obviously, the political side of things, and then the, the social side of things. I'm sure he's saying yes. We've actually almost attained about forty, you know, forty six out of out of forty seven political. Uh, matters that we are talking about. But there's something also, you know, uh, that the Chief Justice, when he was interpreting, or rather the Supreme Court, when they were interpreting this, was saying that I wouldn't want Kenyans actually to lose sight of. And that was uh, how you realize it's a progressive realization. Now, a progressive realization would mean you know, I don't know whether they opened out, you know, they left a window open because you do not know how long it would take for you to realize this bill. But the truth of the matter is we have been heading in the right place mm -hmm. if we are to follow that uh, progressive realization. Because how many governors, uh, uh, female governors did we have prior to, two, uh, to 2017? None. Now we have how many? We have three and moving on. Yes. Senators who are female. So. I think this is an issue that will take time. The only problem I have is mm. what Moshimo alluded to. We have members of parliament who by design keep away. I would rather you're in the house and you and vote say no. no. Yes. Rather than know abscond it has duty. You don't expect that to happen. No, you no, have to be politically uh, correct. Honestly, no, honestly, sure. Hussein, <laughs> honestly, Hussein, I think it is and, wrong. And they actually, it is, and, it and is very the wrong. Have, have pronounced themselves yes, on this it, it, it is very wrong because we are paying them. So the best they can do is show up. Be in the hands and saying no is not, it's a, bad not a bad thing, thing but, but you cannot no. abscond. Yeah. That is wrong. That is wrong. Be there, show yourself, say no, and then this is why I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not voting on this. And it is okay because you could have your own reasons. Just like what somebody was saying, you know, it looks like a good bill. I'm all up for women empowerment, but there's no criteria. Because even Mashimua can tell you, she's very concerned. What criteria are we going to use to bring well, these exactly people in? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who's going to be in? You're not going to just be... Yeah, they should put the criteria. Yeah. Because so uh, every person, it is not every right person probably who is running away from this bill is like, you know, it is a good thing, but, but they do not want abused. to put yeah. people into parliament but it is the who are not supposed the criteria. to be. No, the it's criteria, true. criteria was going to come later after the, after the, the, <laughs> the law is passed. So the, the criteria regulation. should come yeah. The regulation, regulations will come later. Is, is that part of the problem? Because if uh, so for some who have been saying they are, they are then you uh, come out here. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Lack of a criteria or formula yes. to know. No, no, no. Who no. I think I think the main piece are looking just playing to the gallery. That's really not the reason. I think the reason is that a lot of men still fear women in, uh, more. <laughs> I agree. Women. I agree with <laughs> much yeah. more. That. That's what they do. Yes, They're just yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, a yeah. lot of men fear <laughs> empowered women. Mm. That is a fact. <laughs> In yeah. fact, the more <laughs> aggressive we become, mm. and I remember, uh, and may her soul rest in peace, Mama Lucy telling mm. us that we must fight aggressively, but not in violent way. But then the more uh, women assert themselves, I know now we become, we, we are always told we are arrogant. <laughs> I know, uh, I mean, many people have said Elach is very arrogant. You know, I had this so, argument in Parliament. Uh, so mm -hmm. Because of just being very assertive or something. Mm -hmm. now, I had this argument in Parliament. When I was saying that, for me, I don't mind even if my wife was the first lady of this country. Mm. I would simply carry a bag and a supporter. Mm. But another because colleague, another <laughs> colleague, <laughs> another colleague <laughs> told me mm. that what about if she, if she stops you from accompanying her? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but on a serious note, I'll agree with you. Empowered, because empowered women. Okay. She, you'll be, you'll be it is just a fear right? of yeah. unknown. No, the, the women, fear of unknown. If, if, you, if you look at some fear of the women that, who, you know, that we've empowered, They've really actually gone to do more better things yeah. than their male, male counterparts. For instance, mm. you remember, who's one of the best foreign affairs ministers that you remember? Who, put, who has put Kenya to the Dr. Robert Oko. You still have, no, I'm talking about women. Of course, Amina Mohammed. Oh, exactly. No, yeah. that's, and then, that's false. <laughs> Why? We know they are capable women, but not Amina Mohammed. Now, Jaga, you see, see now you are not, you are not, you are not, you are giving, you are giving, you are giving misplaced examples. No, 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 it's not misplaced examples. I'm just telling you. Give, you, you have to give respect. Exactly. Okay, I'm what I know the capability of most people, most people that I know the capability of women. There are women who are women Who is the other women? Most people. There are many women who have done that. Ambassador, Ambassador Monica Juma is. 
Yeah, in now she's doing now also she's better. In. Very well. We are now not she's in. I'm talking yes. about those yeah. that the people that but you can remember. But who brought Kenya on the map? Exactly. At the time that Kenya really needed to be on the map. Who brought? When? So who, you see, who you're who talking. What was happening to Kenya that Kenya needed to be? Kenya has been on the map for no. many years. No. You're playing politics. <laughs> you're playing politics. Exactly. All I'm saying is, we've had no, women. I know. Women. What I'm we've saying is that there are many women. I don't doubt the capacity. We've had women who've impacted. Both Monica and Amina are the ones who have brought foreign affairs until people have understood what is foreign affairs. No, exactly. You know there was a time in this country nobody knew there is no, a no, ministry no. called exactly. foreign affairs. That is, that is exactly. one ministry that has been led we by, didn't even know by what it NASA does. deputy leader, Kalonzo Musioka. <laughs> you know, we are being honest. You're still not saying. I'm, you're still not saying, saying, I'm saying. Agree with that. I'm not saying. I'm saying. I'm, 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 I'm saying that with, no, with, with due respect to her, I think she was she was one of the worst performers in that ministry. Why? Because Who? of the, uh, the, the, the things that happened. Which Who? things? You know, she failed to lobby to lobby uh, Africa against ICC, you know. Who? She did so many things that did not succeed. Who, who so did I not? She, she won. No. When she went what? for, when, when she, went for when, when no, she, when she was doing <laughs> this, all this, all this running around. Withdraw. There, 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 you, there, there you, you failed that. miserably. Withdraw that. But anyway, withdraw. moving on to that. What I'm saying. We've had women, we've had women in this country. What I'm saying, what I'm saying. I agree with you that women have done well. Who have actually gone to put a very positive mark as far as the country is concerned. And so I believe if we continue to empower them, Okay, it is more advantageous to this nation. So this is not something that we should run away from. I'll bet the fact that when you talk about the, uh, the two-third gender rule, that's a constitutional requirement. Yes, it, you know, it, if we are talking, you know, uh, a, a delayed gratification before we achieve it, so be it. But we cannot run away from it. I think it is the onus of every man mainly our leaders in parliament right. to actually de push this uh, uh, bill in the and right we'll direction. Yeah, and we'll see how this uh, progresses. Uh, <laughs> no, but but if Moshimua can come if on <laughs> national TV <laughs> and say women <laughs> have not done No, no, I am, no, no. You, no, 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 you, no, you are misquoting me. No, no, he was referring to I am only, I'm only, I'm only saying that, that the, the example you have given of Amina is what I'm, I'm doubting. No, 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 if you doubt her, then which other woman would have worked? there are many. I mean, he has his own, I mean, he's within his rights. There are many Although women, we're capable saying, women in this country. All of them have worked. All yes. the women who have been given an opportunity by the uh, president, imagine they have delivered in okay. their ministries. Uh, exactly. Let me make all of them. I don't consider. And they work double hard. They are like more in this, in this garment. challenged okay. than any other thing, but <laughs> they have, have worked. You hate her for some, for some other reasons, I think. And they have delivered personal, I don't know. Yeah, good but, personal, but, uh, I mean, you have not given reasons as to why you're saying that. Yeah. Although, I mean, there were, these things were, this thing were, was being looked at uh, from both sides. There are right. some who are saying she put Kenya on the map oh, yes. uh, in different areas, but some who are saying also one of the reasons why Kenya was on the map uh, so prominently in Amina Mohammed was about really ICC, right. not really about Kenya. No, no, but we also but, saw I mean, it quite depends, a... depends how you look at it. Yeah, well, I mean, you, there you, are you, critics you, and there are supporters. Tell me if it was forget. a man, Amina, uh, if, if it was a man. If, if, Tell me if it was a man. I mean, I, I can't, I can't. You, can't you can imagine how it You can't forget Inktad, you can't forget... My message, my message is that we have had better foreign affairs ministers. We had some of... We had some We have had Dr. Uko, we have had Kalonzo Musioka. We had some of them. We were saying women. We were saying women. And we're talking about women, about by women. the way. Okay. <laughs> Either way, Honorable Kandi has not said why. Okay, you win. Okay, okay, you win. I said you win. Okay, I mean, that's a matter of interpretation. Uh, you win. your rights to decide who you like and who you don't like. Uh, we're taking a short break now, coming back with one more topic here on the standard. That's the, the front page standard in the war against corruption. There's something else happening. Failed arrest fuels Kinoti ESCC war. This has been talked about uh, several times now in... in, in uh, in the media, the heads of these agencies and other investigative agencies try to avoid it and say they don't know what's happening. But we'll come and talk about this after the break. Stay tuned.